Uh, Gibson. I played Gibson for many years. Yeah. When I was with the George Hall Band, I played, uh, the, 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 at the time, the two major uh, uh, manufacturers of guitars in this country were the Epiphone Company in New York and the Gibson Company from Kalamazoo, Michigan. And when I was with the George Hall Band in my early career in New York, I was playing an Epiphone guitar. When I met Carl Kress, Carl Kress was a, a signature artist to the Gibson Guitar Company. So the fact that I was gonna join him as his partner after Dick McDonough died, I joined Carl and, and, and became his partner. Uh, he, he suggested that I switch over to Gibson because there would be no uh, conflict, you know, between my playing a different guitar from him, you know. So uh, that's how I switched over to Gibson and played that practically all the rest of my career. Not that the Epiphone, they, they, they were both on a par with one another, great guitars. And then later in years, uh, there were uh, uh, individual luthiers who uh, came on the scene, like John D'Angelico, world famous luthier, and uh, uh, Jimmy DeQuisto, who was his, his uh, uh, apprentice. And then as your cameraman was admiring my guitar there before, the Mortoro guitar. Gary Mortoro is a current maker today living in Florida. So, but basically Gibson was my guitar of choice throughout the, my professional life. Uh, f for you, as far as electric guitars are concerned, was it more a matter of uh, how it feels, how it plays, or is it the sound? Oh, a little bit of everything, yeah. yeah. First of all, you know, how it feels uh, to play it, you know, to find the right guitar that you're comfortable with. And then, of course, the other things, you're at the mercy of, uh, when you're playing electric guitar, you're at the mercy of an amplifier, and you're at the mercy of a sound engineer in there who's going to, who's going to have be, have be responsible for your, uh, how it's going to sound going out over the air.